Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my brand new YouTube series called Skin Worthy Stories. Now for all of you guys who want to know the details about this, I'll, I'll share them with you throughout the video, but pretty much it's going to be a great way for all of you guys who are watching right now to earn CSGO skins. Maybe in the future we'll change different skins out there, whatever you guys want to see, but pretty much a free way for all of you guys to earn CSGO skins, and also a great way for all of you guys who don't even want to enter to hear some crazy CSGO community member stories. So first off, I do want to share with all of you guys the man himself who inspired this series and kind of just uh, didn't change my life, but definitely change my perspective on it and I, I want to share a story with you guys someone who sent me a DM and I, I, I quickly want to clarify all the gambling youtubers out there all the youtubers out there in general probably in the CSGO scene receive a lot of Twitter DMs kind of like uh, kind of like the people just begging for skins like Jake can I have this can I have this do you have an extra this and for the first time in a long time I actually read this one and my very first thought was wow this has to be fake my second thought was if it is fake this guy's putting a lot of effort into it so let me show you guys the background of Guillerme uh, actually a Brazilian guy who messaged me on Twitter and pretty much I guess I could say he changed my life changed my perspective on it and I'll share his inspiring story and then tell you guys how you can enter this long series I'm probably gonna make this a 10 part series I'm gonna put my own money into it guys and pretty much every single episode will probably have one to two winners and each winner is gonna receive at least 30 to 40 dollars in skins but this one is, is a bit special and it all started with this DM right here it said hi Jake I'm a loyalty follower uh, forgive his English guys he's actually Brazilian so we can give him some leniency there but also I'm a young Brazilian father of a boy of only four years of age. The expenses unfortunately pay prevent me from buying it my first knife. It would be a dream come true. I'm an adult, but I've become a child playing CSGO. If you could donate me the humblest knife you have, this guy would be very happy playing CS. Thank you, Jake, in advance, in the hope that you will help me. And he also sent me another picture as well to kind of reinforce the fact that he's telling the truth here. And this is kind of a common theme throughout the entire conversation is me kind of semi-believing the story and him kind of reinforcing that it's true. So he shows that first picture of his kid and then sends a second picture of him and the same kid, which does offer some reassurance although Google these days you can find a lot of pictures out there so I'm calm I'm collected I take a few days to reply because I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with this and of course I eventually reply three days later and I go on oh, does he play CS he goes no man he stays with me on my lap while I play I asked you because I have not and I will not have the money to buy a knife with a small child the priority is always him but if he could help fulfill that dream this would be wonderful so I could tell if this was going to be true it was going to be a bit emotional but I wanted to take it somewhere and I could tell he was most likely telling the truth and he kind of reinforces that later on as well so I I continue the conversation. Where do you guys play at? And I, I got a bit excited here, so I had to correct myself with a question mark, and he, he eventually replied, Brazil. He also said, I'm a nurse, so the money is very short. You can see in my photo. So immediately, I'm like, okay, if he says check his photo, we're gonna check his photo. And as you guys can tell, he has a nurse mask in his picture. It's the same guy in, in the picture of his kid as well. So everything's kind of co-aligning here. But again, Google is a Google is a crazy thing. So I asked him, can I see your gaming setup? And he says yes, and then sends me his trade URL. I think he obviously misunderstood me there. I don't think he was trying to be greedy. Although at first when he sent it, I was like, whoa, whoa. I mean the place you play CSGO from. I play in the boys bedroom. Could I see? This could be a little bit creepy by some, by some standards out there, but I wanted to kind of confirm that the first picture aligned with this picture and here's what he sent. Yes, I will take the picture right now. And then as you guys can see, he took actually two pictures for us. The first one does align almost exactly with the boy in the first picture with the wood finish in the background and of that desk and of that kind of that mediocre setup I'm sure you guys could tell is not the best setup in the world, but it does match the picture of the where the boy was sitting at. And also he sends another picture of the boy's room. So I feel like we know exactly where the boy is at this point, which is kind of creepy, but this guy goes to a, a further extent to really prove he's telling the truth. So at this point, I feel like I need to get a little more uh, you know, personal with the guy. So I may mean, ask what your boy's name is. And he says, Guillerme Lacerda. Now I might've mispronounced that, so I do apologize, guy, uh, guys. And he now goes, do you want the ID? Everything I say is true, my friend. And I go, no, 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 I'm just curious. And what's your name? And he goes, Guillerme Rodriguez. He has my first name. And at this point, this guy, had my heart. I knew he was telling the truth and everything he sends after this just proves it. But after this, I just realized like I need to try and help this guy out somehow. I know this series probably won't get a ton of views. We're not going to make a bunch of money doing it. But at the very least, if we can have true stories like this one and we're helping people out, then I got to continue this series. So I kind of continue on the conversation. I go, oh, that's awesome. When did you learn English? It's good. And he actually sent me the school ID of his son. And I was like, I gotta block some of that stuff out. I mean, he's adorable, but I can't show that to the world, man. Like, I understand. <laughs> and he continues on, I will not lie to you. My English, I learned in a free course that I got, and I love rock. I listened to Red Hot, Creed, Metallica, and Ozzy. 
So he doesn't have my music taste, but that still means I'm, I'm not gonna help him out just cause, I'm not gonna not help him out just cause he doesn't like my music. So I, I appreciate he, should, he started sharing real, real details with me so I continue on the conversation. I believe you and I wanna help you achieve your goal. He says, thank you on being 100% truth. If you need more, more information, just ask me. Send me your trade link, I will get you a knife and then I hope one day to get a knife for your boy too. Thanks man, you are a good man. So eventually I go on to actually send him his knife and I'm just, I'm sitting to myself, I'm thinking, what can I possibly do for the future of this series? And so as you guys can just watch me send off the knife, he actually replied later on as well. Charity, no matter the area, is a sign of kindness and I thank you for that. I want to help you grow as well. You looked at me, be sure there will be uh, recipro reciproca reciprocal, you know what the word is. It means, it means that when you give away, you're going to receive one day. And he also sent me one last picture for all of you guys who are curious of his boy and it confirms. And I know Google's a powerful machine, guys, but this is just, everything aligns so much. The fact that he is a nurse, he looks like a nurse, he has pictures of him being a nurse, four, three or four different pictures of him and his boy in the same room. I'm pretty sure it's legit truth, it's a legit story. If you guys disagree, feel free to comment down below. But here is the goal of the overall series. Let me break down the detail for all of you guys who are wondering, how can you get hands on easy skins? And this guy obviously does not have an easy life. He's, he's been working his entire life to support his boy. But how can you guys submit stories to get skins just like this guy did? So my Twitter will be linked down below. It's always been open to everyone who wants to send me a message. I don't always reply to every single message out there because sometimes they're just a bit ridiculous. But you guys now have the opportunity throughout the 10 part series you guys can submit I guess as many DMs as you want but I, I'd suggest you guys keep it to one uh, to one account or you know one DM at a time otherwise it's, it's gonna get a bit repetitive but you guys can submit two types of stories they can be real or they can be fake now it's kind of my job to determine if they're real or fake if you guys can go to an extent and actually trick me to thinking it's real I do I do kind of think that the real story is gonna have a better chance to win but like I said before guys every single episode will have one or two winners if there is one winner they'll probably win a knife if there are two winners they'll probably win 30 to 50 dollars in skins but that's how you guys win you submit a twitter dm my twitter will be linked down below for all of you uh sending me a crazy story it can be short it can be long it can be whatever you guys want it to be about it can be real or fake and then after all I've, i'm going to show you guys at uh, during each episode i'll show you guys the top three to five stories and i'll show you guys the winners being sent their skins so that's the idea of the series if you guys do like it please do me a favor, leave a like and a comment down below. I want these series to do quite well. And uh, also on top of that, I wanna offer one last thing. I am almost certain, I am I am 99.99% certain that Guillerme's story is actually legit. He is from Brazil, he has a son he supports, he's a nurse, he works hard, and he loves to play CSGO. So for every single episode of this series that breaks 500 likes, I will be sending Guillerme and his son another knife. It's not gonna be anything special. I can't afford too much myself because I currently am looking for a job. I don't really get sponsors too often, but every single episode that breaks 500 likes, I will show you guys I'm gonna send Guillerme and his son another knife. So. As always, I hope you guys all enjoy the details of this new series called Skin Worthy Stories. If you guys did, leave a comment down below what I can do to correct it, what I can do to make it better, and I will see you guys all next time with some more CSGO news. And until then, my name is Jake Moore, like you, Guillerme, you're my man, dude. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, guys.